Hi there, uh, I'm Alex. Uh, this is Rich. We're with the Mayor's Office of Sustainability. Uh, we work on all kinds of different sustainability programs that we're excited to tell you about. One in particular we've been working on, on uh, visualizing some building energy use information. Uh, so a lot of the work in Greenworks, uh, we, we did, by the way, bring annual reports, which are at the back of the uh, room there, along with the report on the benchmarking program that we're running. A lot of our work is focused on energy conservation and greenhouse gas emissions reduction. And as we've been tracking that over the last couple of years, it's clear that our biggest opportunity in the city is to focus on big buildings. So two years ago, the council passed a law that requires big buildings to report their energy usage to us on an annual basis. And then we make that data publicly available so that people can use it in decision making, whether they're buying or leasing space or managing their own building. Uh, the problem is that the market isn't terribly excited to go on to GitHub and download Excel spreadsheets of data talking about <laughs> building energy use, uh, even though Rich and I are. So we decided that we needed to have a way to present this information in a dynamic way that people could sort through and start to look at some of the relationships between uh, building type and energy use and greenhouse gas emissions, water use. Uh, so we've worked, we've been really lucky to work with the Azavia to put together this tool. Uh, that allows folks to do that. It has not yet been launched, but will be launched next week. So this is kind of a sneak preview. And I'm going to have Rich walk you through the particulars of the tool. Yeah, and we should note that this data is on GitHub as well. So for those of you out there who are into that, it's up there. It's open. Mm -hmm. But it's open here too, or will be next week. And there are a couple of things you want to show you about this tool. The first is that you can see all of the buildings that are required to um, submit their energy usage as part of this benchmarking program are geocoded on here. You can click on them and find the one you're interested in. For the sake of time, we'll just go to one that we care about, which is the building Alex and I work in across the street, the one parkway building. You can see here that it shows its energy performance on a 1 to 100 scale compared to all the other buildings nationwide, uh, as well as some comparisons here in charts and graph form. Um, you could get this again for each of the 2,000 buildings that reported as part of this program. Um, this tool also allows you to do some kind of cool visualizations separate from geospatial including some sorting by sector, um, year and size breakdown, and comparisons, all sorts of data here. Um, there's some fun animations, which I know those of you that are into data visualization will be pretty interested in. So again, this is a tool that will be available on our website, philodoc.gov slash benchmarking next week. You can also look uh, for that announcement on our Twitter, which is Greenworks, uh, at Greenworks Phila. And I think our six words are going to be, do you have six? I've got six. Go for it. All right, I've got um, this program that's reducing energy, uh, reducing emissions, and bills for Philadelphia. All right.